form of Charles Finney and Lucretia Mott. Lucretia Mott, a 47-year-old Quaker abolitionist who worked as a teacher, advocated for women's rights alongside the renowned Elizabeth Cady Stanton. At that time, married women were expected to remain at home to tend to the house of children, an idea known as the call of domesticity. Only one in ten women actually had a job, and those that did earned only half of a man's paycheck. Women could not vote, and any money or property that they previously owned was considered that of their husband. Inspired by the Second Great Awakening, in 1848, Mont and Stanton held a women's rights convention at Seneca Falls, New York, where over 300 people gathered to hear their proclamations. Mott gave the opening and closing addresses, proclaiming that all women have the right to health care, education, equal pay, and more, all under the Declaration of Independence. One of the most controversial proclamations was women's suffrage. Charles G. Finney was born on August 27, 1792, in Litchfield County, Connecticut. He studied law from 1818 to 1821. When he experienced a sudden conversion at the age of 29, he began to travel by a horseback, preaching the Presbyterian faith to crowds of civilians. During the Second Great Awakening, Finney became known as the father of modern revivalism through his dramatic and emotional speeches during revivals. One unique component of Finney's preaching included what is known as the anxious bench, on which those who were most eager to convert sat during the lively revivals. Criticized by many for his beliefs, Finney placed emphasis on the role of man. His lectures on revivals, published in 1835, became the handbook for American revivalists at that time. 